What's up my sassy ass bitches? Welcome on back to the channel. Oh girl, I hope you are ready for today. I don't know what it is. I do know what it is. It's the weather that's put me in the best mood. All of a sudden, I have energy to work out and work out hard and well. And we're feeling good because we're getting summer ready right about now. And you best believe that when we pump it up and get all sweaty, we're gonna come back and enjoy a delicious all natural treat because we all deserve that in life. So let's get this party started. Woo! Definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on IG and TikTok for all things fitness because together we got this. Let's go to the gym. Come on, let's go. Let's go have some fun. Oh, yay, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm alive again. Does anybody else feel the same way? Like you've just come broken out of your shell? Warm weather's crazy like that. I feel like a new woman. Say hi, Bay. Hi, Bae. So we are very excited tomorrow. We are expecting our floors for delivery. Finally, our gym floors are coming in and in about a week, we are getting our mirrors installed as well. So lots of fun shiz coming up. Ah! I can't wait, the gym is finally slowly coming together. I'm, you know what I'm saying, girl? All right, time to get rocking and rolling with my $5 shades. See you there. Okay, so Story saw it first, but we have a little like protein station here. <laughs> little things like that. We got our little supplement station. Replenish, some pre-workout to begin, some protein to end with. We plan to spend a lot of time in this gym, even not filming or working out. We kind of want to make this our little hangout spot. Look at how cute. We got a little mini fridge and a little mini microwave. Empty fridge tour. Yeah, we got like nothing in it yet. Woohoo! So exciting, but we do have our oat milk. Cause you know, girl, I need oat milk for my protein shakes. This was kind of like a no brainer for us because we're always coming and going and sometimes we have errands to run afterwards. So after a workout, I literally, I need to take my protein. I need my meal preps and things like that. So it really makes things a little easier for us. So we don't have to keep like running back and forth to our apartment. It's only 13 minutes away, but still. Who's got time for that? You know what I mean? Okay, so now that Bay got the lights to match my outfit, thank you very much, Bay. Now we can start our leg day workout. I'm so excited. Been loving working legs lately, shredding it up and getting summer ready. I freaking already feel like such a difference. I see a difference in my legs. And if I'm keeping it super real, Bay will tell you that is like my biggest insecurity are my legs, my inner thighs, things like that. You know, I just struggle with like things like cellulite. We all do. I have it a lot on the back of my legs, so whatevs. But we're here to just work, baby, and feel good about ourselves. That's all that matters. So let's hop on in it. Let's do it. First, I like to start off with about six to seven minutes of warm up and mobility stretching. So about one minute for each exercise. I love starting with banded jump squats to get my entire lower body fired up real fast. So I'm using a medium resistance band for these exercises. Moving on to banded external hip rotations. Since incorporating these, I feel zero pull when performing my split squats. So it's a must for me on my leg day. Continuing on with alternating banded side squats for a full rounded leg warm up. Having the band just gives that extra added resistance that's light enough to not tire me out. Ending with leg swings. I use the wall for balance so I could freely focus on loosening up one leg at a time. It's show time, baby, let's get it now. Okay, we starting off today's leg day with single leg step ups. I totally meant to do these on a squat box, but I forgot it at home. So this bench will have to do. Definitely make sure to do these on something stable though. This exercise is all about balance, so make sure to get that down before adding any weight at all. I performed three rounds of 12 reps for each leg with one front-loaded 20-pound dumbbell. This is a quad-focused workout that burns like hell, girl. Next up, Romanian deadlifts or RDLs. I'm using a 50-pound fixed barbell, which is what I'm comfortable with at the moment. RDLs are performed with knees slightly bent and sitting back into the exercise before pulling up. 
This type of deadlift feels the best for me with my scoliosis and annoying as fudge back pain. I'm focusing on pulling through my hammies and squeezing the glutes at the top. Moving on to Bulgarian split squats, I have a love-hate relationship with these, but ultimately they burn my shiz up, so I love them. This will tear up your quads and glutes. I love performing these with two 15-pound dumbbells on both sides to help keep balance. Sit straight down and low into the squat and push through your heels, and try to avoid having your knee go past your toes. Can't deny a basic back squat up in here, girl. Slowly getting my strength back up with these and performing three rounds of 12 with two 25 pound plates and an Olympic size barbell. Love doing leg day barefoot so I can really sit back into my heels and not have the arch of a sneaker leaning me slightly forward. Keep your back straight, neutral spine, core nice and tight, and go as low as you can comfortably without sacrificing form. Ending today's workout with sumo squats. Keep feet pointed outward in a wide stance. Again, go as low as you can without sacrificing form. Sumo squats are amazing for targeting your inner thighs, so just make sure you squeeze at the top to get the most out of these babies. All right guys, so those were a few of today's leg day workout clips. That was our damn good protein shake. I'm feeling pretty good. I've actually been recently using the Olympic size barbell and I haven't in a long time. I'm slowly getting my strength back up after quarantine and the lack of gym and the lack of weights. So I'm trying to prepare myself right now. So when the Smith machine comes in, I can really bang them out and grow some legs, okay? Cause your girl's out of shape. Okay, so let's go ahead. We are heading back home for a sweet little treat cause I need a little post-workout snack. Woo! Okay, we are back and we deserve a nice, cold, tasty treat. So I don't know about you, but like, I'm addicted to ice cream. Little fun fact, I love ice cream, but I don't eat it. <laughs> Cause you know what I mean, like sugar? Processed sugar makes me break out. And I look like a hag. My newest favorite alternative in the world, and it's gonna literally get me through summertime, is like frozen banana ice cream. My personal favorite ice cream in the world is cherry. So we got some dark sweet cherries, frozen banana slices, okay? Take your rotting bananas, slice and dice them, and freeze them shizzes. Some oat milk, and we're actually going to be putting in some cherry juice, add a little flavor. Cherry juice actually helps prevent inflammation. Who knew? We also got from Ready Whip, almond milk whipped cream, non-dairy. Barely any sugar in this, but it tastes like freaking delicious, like whipped cream. And then we got 85% cocoa. So I'm just gonna freaking smash this up and use it as topping. So yeah, this is what I've been eating like daily now. And I'm not mad about it, okay? I'm not mad, I'm just saying. Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna put our oat milk in first, just a little bit, because you don't want it to be watery. You want that smooth froyo type of deal. Right, that's right. A little bit goes a long way, this is tart. So this is the part where Bay, with his strong manly hands, breaks up this frozen banana, because I'm not strong enough to do that. Oh wow. So we're gonna go ahead and put on milkshake mode. Bay's gonna take over because I can't do it. <laughs> so we ended up adding in all the bananas, getting it really nice and thick. You gotta move it around because that frozen shiz is hard to break up. But it's worth the struggle, isn't it, Bay? So worth it. So freaking worth it. So now I'm just gonna dice up a few frozen cherries because I don't know about you, girl, I love biting into a big ass chunk of cherry.
finished product. So basically all you're looking at are frozen bananas, a little bit of cherry juice, some oat milk, make it really nice and thick. And then you add on for me, the almond milk whipped cream is really good. Low sugar, made of almond milk, no dairy, dark, sweet, organic cherries. So there's no sugar added in these. It's just organic cherries. We're not about that artificial sugar, no. And then added on top is just 85% cocoa. It's just a lot more cocoa than anything, but the sugar content is super minimal here. So you don't have to worry about it really good and it's a great antioxidant okay if you want you can add in a scoop of protein powder but i like it just as is sometimes i just want to taste all the fruit and all the deliciousness my favorite kind of ice cream this is what i've been loving lately so enjoy it for the summertime let me know what you think if you try it oh girl are you kidding mm, cool. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead, sit out on the balcony and enjoy this baby. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely stick around for more videos just like this. So definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow your girl on IG for all things fitness because together we got this baby and I'll catch you next time.